Hey guys, uh, here with a tutorial on how to do transfers. Uh, wanted to do a quick one for using Microset and Microsol. They're not necessary to do transfers, but in this video I'll show you uh, what they do and how they help a lot. Uh, so this is the stuff you'll need, your Microset, Microsol, a transfer sheet, a uh, hobby knife, uh, tweezers, a pot full of just regular water, and a big uh, round brush. And then the last thing is going to be just a bowl with some water in the bottom. Um, so I'm going to be putting these on a tank I finished uh, in another video. If you'd like to go check it out, just go look for it. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is putting some Tau emblems on the doors. Uh, I took them off the model because it was a lot easier. But you can do this to your model while it's fully assembled. It's fine. So you go ahead and cut out your emblem. Whatever you're going to put on. The newer um, Games Workshop sheets actually have the clear part cut out already around the uh, transfers. And I'd recommend using that clear part for now. If you have a really old transfer sheet, you'll need to cut very, very closely to it. But um, if, you do, uh, if you do have the newer transfer sheets, cut it bigger and it gives you more room to work with. Uh, as much extra paper as you can. So first we'll get micro set. They're very confusing, but this one is the blue one. Micro set is going to help uh, apply your decal. Can I keep it to, to sit on there? Not as important as the other one, but if you get one, might as well get the other. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll put the uh, micro set. I'm already forgetting it. Put it on wherever you're going to put the decal. Uh, before you apply the decal, it's best to put a clear coat on, either with a spray can or with an airbrush. Uh, gloss is preferred, but I did satin on this one and it turned out really, really good. So, you want to make sure your decal can slide around on the paper. Once it can, you'll pull it out of the water. I had a little trouble here. But grab the actual paper with your tweezers. And then get your brush, put some water on it, uh, or some micro set, either one. Um, I just put some water on it, and then you're going to slide it off the transfer sheet and onto your model. Uh, at this point, you're just going to try to get it generally where you want it. Uh, you generally can get it on there, and you'll want to start working out the bubbles. But if you want to move it, uh, a thing I did is... Uh, you can get the point of the brush and you kind of can stick it up under the side of the transfer sheet which will allow it to move a little bit this is just something i did but i don't know if you're supposed to but it kind of worked for me uh get it where you want it if it isn't keep applying water it'll keep being slippery once you get it where you want it let it dry pretty much completely you can leave it a little bit wet, but leave it for a little bit dry it off with a paper towel then you'll get your micro saw, the red can. So the red one is second. What you're gonna do now is just work the uh, decal um, from the middle out, getting out any air bubbles, trying to get rid of creases. And the more your uh, surface is irregular, curved, and the bigger your actual decal is, the more creases you're gonna get. And that's what the micro saw helps you with. So basically, you're, you're going to work it into that and let it completely dry. After it completely dries, uh, you'll come back and do this again. And each time you do this, it's going to get a little bit more out. So you'll continue to do this over and over until you're pleased with it. Uh, you don't want to add so much that you move the transfer sheet because it can tear at this point because you're softening it with the micro salt. But I did never have that problem. None of these ripped on me. Uh, and I did it about, I guess, four times before I was like, wow, this is just great. I was really pleased with it. So at this point, off camera, I went and put some other decals on my other part of the model. Some smaller ones on the blue parts of my model. You can see there, it's like some really little text and some towel insignia. And I put some stripes on the front. Uh, in the end, these did not come out as good the clear was a little bit more visible um but it, it still did look good i think i just needed to i think the coat of the clear here wasn't as good um but overall i was very pleased i did the same thing with these placed them 
with the uh, blue can, went in. After they were dry, went with the red can over it, let it dry, went over it, let it dry, went over it. And uh, at the end, what I will do, you see me wiping it on my hand, completely squeegeeing it off the last time you want to do it. Wipe your brush off on your hand or a piece of paper. Try to get all the moisture out to make sure there's no bubbles. So here's the final product. This is as close of a shot I could get. And I was really pleased. They actually look like they're painted on. Um, I was never quite sold on these two products, but they look great. Um, I really do recommend them. They're about two bucks a can. Here's the finished model. And I tried to do this as quick as I can. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.